Okay, Introdu a short introduction about database theory, and especially I will try to concentrate on question related to relational database. Actually, the database is key components of any real information system. Is it we talk about medical or any kind general information system? So today, first of all, understanding what is the database in general, and the show in brief uh, how to develop relational database. Practically, you must consider several classes on it, and you will need to develop own database to deal with data processing your database, and even uh, create design of database structure. So please pay attention for at least first question. So there we need to start with definition, what is database, then uh, convention major database tools and general database model, theoretical models. So first of all, then we will talk about, before I will start of uh, definition database, please recap from previous lecture, what is information system? So again, uh, it's system of person that record activities that process that information given organization including manual and automation process. And it's field for study for information technologies. Okay. Uh, when we talk about uh, medical information system, hospital information system, and related classes of systems. So, main aim of such system, best possible support for patient care by administration, uh, <coughs> patient data with <coughs> approach to electronic data processing. As a result, we have uh, effective usage of restricted resource uh, for patient, available for patient care, especially patient notice, patient medical history, and also we have multiply ways to improve patient care. So at the right side of the picture is shown components of hospital, technical components of hospital information system, which could be consist of, and one of component is data warehouse, which could be represented by one or multiply database, which is used to serve functionality, functional capabilities of all other components in this cycle. As we talk about um, CIS, SIS, LIMS system, or even departmental subsystem, if such available in hospital. So all of it will require data storage, and it could be represented within data warehouse or as one or multiply database. If we consider components of any real information system, automation system, we can find that multiplied depiction of database will be available there. For example, in this case, so from functional principle chart of some particular HAS system, we have at least three database must be used to be to this system being working. When we review another system like uh, RIS or PAX system, and they are also depicted at least two, at least two data storage. So again, every time we need data storage to keep our data. And even if you will talk about your own um, personal contacts within your mobile phone, so again, even there, database required to keep it. Uh, to keep in mind time it. And uh, there we need to identify what is the database itself. To, uh, of course, we can find multiply database the definition within different authors and textbooks because it's well-known topic and very widely studied within different specialities. So I propose only pair of it. One very simple and second little bit more detailed. Simple case we can see as the base as computerized record keeping system. So with a more detailed review of the basic system that which involve data, hardware that's physically stores that data, attention, we need, we consider hardware components as part of the database itself. And software that utilize hardware file system uh, with um, two major goals. First, it will be stored data, and second, provide 
standardized methods for retrieving or changing data. And finally, last components of database. It's of course users. Uh, and the users, we also, we understand also not only person, not only persons, but even we can consider their uh, kind of information system users who have access to the database through information system user interface. Like when I uh, provide for you example of, of an EMR uh, medical information system at uh, classes. So again, when we talk about the database, we want to define the database, we must consider it consists of major four parts. Data itself, data records itself, then hardware used to store the data, software which provides access to data and, and uh, users who utilize, uh, utilize data or who uh, prepare new or utilize existing data. So when we consider how it could practically look like, we have several uh, simple models. So at left side, we have two different medical information system user interface, how it could look like. Right side, how it could be represented via uh, logical charts. So uh, conventional user doesn't have direct access to, typically to the database, and do it to information system user interface. So I think Scarlet client application or database application, client application at the above, database application at the below. So it's complex of user interface, different forms, dialogues. So everything that users see on screen, that tool that user interact with uh, data in order to create new records, get data from there, uh, or review, analyze, etc. So it's client and database application. And inside it, we have behind the scene of client database, we have particular software in other software. So when I'm talking about database software under this term, I have meaning not client application, not database application, sorry. Under this, I mean DBMS system, database management system, or as of as about it's uh, the scale database itself, or database server software itself. So there is that thing that's kind database software. And it's important to understand that it's not user, not application software, not user software, not medical information system. It's system which is responsible for low level data access operation, low level data management operation. Like from client application, from database application, user initiate high level request like give me data about particular person and database management system responsible to transform this request into low level format and access uh, data structures within data warehouse in order to retrieve information so how it work in behind the scene about classification of database. First of all, I will consider only two ways for classification. First of all, type of database. We can simply, we can split all database in two groups, like or, uh, analytical or OLAP, online analytical process database. So they are static with only database. They are not allowed to then change it and provide only historical data for different anal analytical cases. For data analysis, for example, for, uh, for even for education, for statistical data analysis for education. So, and the second large group of system, it's operational database, OLTP, uh, online transaction processing system, used to manage that more dynamic bits of data. So with this, kind, with this type of database, users, uh, allow with to change data, users uh, allow with not only read data, but they are granted write, update, delete, and create uh, operations. So they perform all options, all colored CRURD option, CRUD option. So actually all real information system used within medical facilities, it's of course related to or to be growth or to keep a type. Second approach to classification of database, it's database model. 
There I show three uh, most common database model, but it's a full list of database model classes, not, uh, not limited with this three. Next slide I will show for you, I will show for you two extra. So we will start from uh, like uh, in uh, clockwise size and from left top corner and untilted center. So first of all, flat file model database, it's actually even not uh, database itself, it's ability to use a flat file, even like spreadsheet to, uh, to collect information in the database role. Very rare, uh, rarely use it, but possible. So we need to just, this flat file must meet basic condition of the database table, like <coughs> A significant order of columns, uh, a significant order of rows, and then unique value at each intersection. So it's major things. Values should be atomic. Intersection is one row and column should keep a single one value. Next <coughs> model, hierarchical model, like similar to tree-like structure when uh, several child objects have one parents and so on, and could be descendant sequence. So, uh, similar to organizational structure, it have difficult if we want uh, to assign one uh, like uh, object to multiply parents. So we have not support multiply parents, only single one children to parents relationship. Net actually, uh, hierarchical model represent just limited approach from network model. So network model similar to hierarchical, but it's more flexible in case of the children-parent relationship. And in, it's along not only vertical relationship from parent to children, but horizontal between siblings. And as a result, and moreover, along with we have multiplied parents, not only single one. As a result, we can implement very complex structure, but uh, it's actually very difficult to implement such database with existing given software. Okay, at the center lie, lie almost behind other available most common database model relationship when data represent in form of two-dimensional tables and join with relationships. So there are difference between flat fail, uh, flat file, uh, flat fail, uh, what file database model uh, to relationship we have to the relational model. We have, a, we have a law to establish relationship between different objects, between different uh, ta uh, tables. And object-oriented model. So it's covered post-relationship there. It's left bottom corner. It's typically based on relational model. It's next, uh, uh, Next evaluation, next step of development of relational model. So difference instead of have value in the intersection column and uh, cell, we have name of attributes. We have pair, we have pair attribute, attribute value pair at this uh, point. And as a result, we have like extra level of flexibility so we can collect um, uh, even a different list of uh, meaningful attributes uh, value for different e object instance. Means, for example, for one per person, we can collect like 10 characteristics, and for second person, we can collect about 20 characteristics. And for third, we can back to 15, for example. Uh, and we will now need to redesign our uh, database structure to keep all of this together. <laughs> Okay, uh, major, uh, no, I have uh, entitled early uh, major problem about this model, like about hierarchical database models that we can't add person to child uh, table until it's already been incorporated into parent table. And so here is an redundancy occur when we have, uh, database can handle only one too many um, relationship, uh, but not handle many too many relationships. So here, like, what does it mean one to many and many to many relationship? In case of one to many relationship, one master or parent object could 
be related to multiply this, uh, multiply children like we have uh, employers as signet to department, even um, teacher in university as signet to department, uh, same way uh, students have studied under kind of particular speciality. But in case of many-to-many -many relationship may happen that like teacher could have role in a primary role in one department and extra duties within other departments. So there we are talking about things like uh, many to many relationship and it could not be implemented with network model with extra redundancy level. So again, if we back to uh, hierarchical models, uh, I assign that it's all over to support uh, have features to support many-to-many -many relationship as well as one-to-many, but we have uh, only a uh, small number of software system like mind map techniques or other software application which allow to implement uh, structures which uh, similar to network hierarchical database model. So it could like uh, could be look like this one when one object have multiply uh, parent, one children have multiply parents. So they are shown two different uh, approaches. Okay, uh, as of about relational model, I told that background is uh, represent information in form of two-dimensional table. Actually, it was proposed uh, like about 50 years ago, but uh, Dr. Masinotician uh, the uh, code uh, and uh, each one uh, keystone of it that's not only usage of two dimensional table it's like similar to spreadsheet or similar to flat fail but major thinks it that each each of this table must present uh, information about one kind of real world object so uh, within tables could be stored information about uh, one kind of about single object like or about patient or about student or about diseases uh, or about symptoms uh, or uh, prescription or something similar but so we are strongly limited only with this there is no any other we can't combine like patient data along with symptom data or their uh, claims within single one object. We need several objects, two or three, at least to implement this particular object responsible and keep data only about uh, one uh, particular table, uh, keep data only about single one object. And of, but of course, it's keep data about all instances of this object. So we, without any problem, we keep uh, all our, our patients on the single one table. So actually, I must notify you that even special branch of Masonetic dedicated to study <laughs> theoretical approach for development of relational database model called relational algebra. Relational algebra, which is uh, in very uh, tight relationship with uh, Boolean algebra, Boolean logic, and the similar mathematical branches. So uh, again, we are talking about at least several approach. We can consider the base development from scientific viewpoint as scientific problem, and we can consider it as practical uh, development problem for, for example, professional programmer. We can investigate database design as scientist. We can implement it as uh, software developer, software engineer also, and we can use it as uh, user. So general, general order, general principles of uh, database development uh, shown actually there at this page and general sequence. What we can do if we have task to develop new system, not only database, but in general, when we have question to develop new information system, for example, in medical area, so first of all, it's of course requirements analysis, analysis of problem domain, where our information system will work and where of course the database will work because actually it's, we can not split the database from information system. So then next question, 
If you look in more detail, it's structured. The bottom, we must collect requirements and analyze uh, analyze analyze these requirements and formulate something like list of options that our design, our model must meet this condition. Next question is develop logical model and uh, uh, modeling data which information about that data object will be stored in database and based on these data models, create logical model of database. So, at, uh, there at left side, like shown uh, the presentation of logical model when we summarize representation, summarize approach or uh, uh, assumption, recommendation or expectation from multiply future a user of database and based on this create multiply models of data which will be stored in database and then create logical representation of uh, uh, logical structure of database. Next question is implementation of this. So sometimes logical structure of uh, database as well as logical structure information system uh, sometimes covered as database design. So, based on logical, general, as for me, how to, as for me, it's not the same things, and it's not fully correct to use that term as replacement one to other, like logical model of database and database design. Logical model, it's abstract description of database in general. Database design uh, could be adjusted to given model. So, logical model, could provide structure uh, within some maybe useful representation. Uh, database design, for example, must, must if you decide to implement database as a relational model, so database model, database design must match relational model requirements. After that, if you got into this step, if you have database design, next your question will be implement this design or find who will implement, like looking for professional developer. I want to emphasize that previous steps important to be provided even by ordinary users. Because every time if you want to like purchase new information system or order for professional developer to develop new information system, you need to provide for him collection of that limitation, requirements, constraints, and all that must be formed like logical database, logical system model, and as well as logical database model. So, after that, developer could propose for you logical design database, and it could be implemented with selected software solution. So, special software solution be, should be used to implement database design. It's called database management system. At the end of lecture, I will talk more about this. So once it is implemented, we can work with, uh, with development of client, so client side, client part of software application, of information system application, and then user could start with, uh, uh, with usage of information system, so field data there. Okay, example of logical database structure. Uh, so we can use a several approach, several standardized methods to depict database design, and one of it is R diagram, things called R diagram, or entity relationship diagram. Entity, it's another term for object. So object and entity, it's actually the same things in case when we talk about modeling of our uh, information system. So here, like in, uh, square box given entities that information about this entities must be stored about into database uh, if we have a square box if we have rectangles with double uh, with double borders means it could cover not only single one entity but maybe it could be split into multiply entities so between in the rhombus, they are given, uh, in K, as in form of K, they are given um, 
uh, operation that must be performed uh, or uh, granted to be performed by uh, given uh, given uh, type of entity and in ellipses given essential uh, essential attributes important characteristics which must be implemented within uh, given design. So as you can see, not all, all not all objects now enlisted with uh, uh, with attribute parameters. So actually, given design, like incomplete at the time, it's just only within processing. And even there, again, in, in our diagram, not all attributes could be shown, only maybe a few most critical, most important. So real, the real database design could have uh, maybe it could have that required a large number of plays to implement it. No, uh, when, for example, so there we have part of, uh, you can count how many objects do we have there. And uh, in contrast, I can talk you that's, I can tell you that's uh, open EMR uh, information system, which I shown for students on practices on, uh, an information system uh, have a user database which consists of 150 objects, 150 entities. And there we have like some little bit more about like half dozens, about 15 or so. And in reality, it's like 10 times largest, 10 times largest. Okay, uh, so general steps for development of relational database, practical steps. Actually, theoretical steps I provide for development database in general, not only relational, but also previous steps like them check requirements, collect limitation, and create logical representation. So that steps are applicable for all different database models. That will be working with any database model. So now consider a little more uh, precisely and accurately the uh, process of relational database development. So again, essential characteristic of relational model, uh, useful data terminology and structure. So part of, of that technology I have provided, but not all. Then major things of major properties of relational tables. Uh, and I will try to present what is relation, what is keys in relationship question of integrity, normalization, and practical implementation with the base management system. So, as I said, early we use the dimensional tables. So here is difference. They are visually similar to spreadsheet application, but theoretically it's significantly different because we have very strong requirements about kind of how data sh must be organized within a relational model. So, uh, uh, and this organization, again, depicted with logical view, logical representation of database. Of course, when we decide which database management software must be used to implement particular logical view, it will be implemented through internal representation where developer responsible for it, or even uh, database core developer responsible. So, when we will need to talk about database development, we must use a proper term. So here I define that, uh, such as we will work with data modeling, we must use a term like object, which will represent some entity from real world, like person or document or even, and attributes. Uh, and each one of this object uh, help list of attributes. So specific characteristics, which is important uh, important of, for our uh, data modeling, for our process. And of course, when we will consider specific real uh, instance of object by a particular person or event, it we, we, must be covered like instance of object or instance of entity and characteristics uh, for pair of person like first name, last name, birthday or so, it's actually value of attributes, value of attributes. But when we will use a relational model and when we, when we theoretically, and when we want to use uh, and create database practically, 
we also must be aware with other kind of terminology which is useful clearly. And there we have like formal terms have, rela uh, have come from uh, relational algebra terminology, so we must consider it as uh, like scientific approach for scientific label, scientific term to depict uh, and denote a uh, given object. Uh, practically, when we try to develop, it's like uh, middle column in this table. Uh, when we practically develop the database object, the database management software, more often we will use a term from the right side from the database manual. So when we talk about table, table itself or relational table, in formal terms could become, must be called relation, attention, not relationship, relation. And in the manuals, it's again come for us as just table. Each one column, which will represent essential characteristic of object, uh, call it attribute under relational algebra or field with database manual. Attention, when I will talk about attribute and field, it's same, then I am talking about columns. And last things, it's a row. It's a row, which is, must be called uh, in relational algebra, tuple, tuple, and record or instance of object, also I will use this term, instance of object. Uh, so it's information about particular record. And we can see, so one kind of characteristics given within column, its attribute, and within row we have full description of single one instance of our object or person or so. It could be person or so. So again, database, relational database, collection relational table, Relational table could be flat file composite set of named columns and arbitrary numbers of unnamed row. Uh, major characteristic of relational database I'd like to provide. Date value is stored intersection of row and column. It's like cell value or attribute value or uh, field value. It's also again same term. Data values and field values again same term. So columns tables contain information about uh, the tables and all represent the occurrence of things or instance of object. Major properties of relational database. Value should be atomic. Intersection of row and column must be single only value, not array. So actually not strong requirements because with post relational database allow it to have array at intersection or even we can keep uh, multi-value structures. Like if we, will, uh, if we want to store uh, like patient, students, please. If you want to store uh, like comments about patient, comments which will include the multiply role about personal assessment. So we must understand that it's technically, it's will not single value because field data type text actually consists of multiply strings. Text value in database terminology consists of multiply strings value. So means we are break value of atomic requirements. Column value, uh, columns value uh, must be the same ki kind, same type. So uh, here is important that this one is critical things critical requirements which show difference between spreadsheet application and relational database table. In spreadsheet, under single one column, we can put different type of value. We are not related with this. Within database, if we, if we define column for first name, only first name value must be there and nothing other. No last name, no birthday, no email, just first name. On the other hand, you have inconsistency in our data. So each row should be unique. Means at least one value in row, at least one value within object instance must be different than any other instances of this object. So if we are collect information about patient, we must have something, one value, which will make this one patient record different from another. As a hand, we got uh, inconsistency and errors in database. So sequence of uh, rows and columns is insignificant. 
we can rearrange our table structure without loss, uh, and it should not affect our data integrity. And column must have unique name. So all these things like I provide, so just can add this, so these requirements very tightly related to uh, process covered normalization when we uh, up with this scientific process to eliminate inconsistency, duplication, and redundancy from our database. And when only we got value of atom, it means our database now immediately bring to the things covered fast normal uh, form. Again, the uh, sign it's not clearly depends to which kind of data do we have. So, uh, in other term, when we talk about uh, column volume should be on the same car, kind of talk, they must represent same domain. <coughs> and the domain we means, we, uh, this time we meaning all, uh, whole set of all possible value, for example, for first name or for last name, or for address, or for best day, or so, or symptoms for particular diseases, or so. So under domain, our domain is our possible value, and co single column must have value from this do domain, not other. Uh, as we have requirements to get each row unique, we must pro we must ensure that. Uh, uh, how to avoid situation when we have all other fields duplicate. For example, we, we feel two times information about the same patient. It's like <coughs> error which could be very easy to identify on paper, but it almost could be very difficult to identify it with system. So special mechanism added into relational database called key mechanism. Uh, in fully it's key relationship mechanism, but there to provide uh, to ensure that the row is unique, uh, we need fast part of the things, keys only. So typically, special kind of uh, fields uh, should be introduced to to ensure that we have uh, unique row at uh, in each record, unique instance of each database, uh, each uh, data instance. So about imp uh, the insignificance row and column, I, I, I have uh, talking early, and requirements for each name, of course, uh, they are also shown. And here is one more difference from, for example, spreadsheet application. There you, there you was given this predefined, like application like uh, Excel or OpenCal, give for you predefined, preformatted table with particular number of rows and columns. When we talk about the relation to base design, you need to identify each one column, each one uh, field for our data. And uh, uh, a sign unique label, a sign unique name. So relationships, the keystone of relational database, it's key reference mechanism, key relationship mechanism, which allow join data from multiply object, from multiply relationship. With these things allow, for example, uh, connect uh, students to specialities that they studied under, students to subjects that they have on uh, assigned him for classes uh, that they must learn, uh, or uh, assign a patient to some uh, one doctor or show which uh, examination obtained from which one patient or so. So how this could be done with implementation of key relationship, key reference mechanism. And it's based, uh, relationship in the database working based on value stored in key fields, especially within primary and foreign keys. So attention, and the re uh, relationship and the reference we mean that we deal with value of key fields, not with kind of driving or so. So two type of uh, key fields uh, has been have been used within relation to base. It's primary and foreign key. So primary key provide unique identity for each row in table. 
Uh, like when you we are asked clearly that we have requirements to to ensure that each one row, each one object instance must be unique. Primary key provides this capability. Even if person, even if staff input made mistake in put two times same data, primary uh, key field will be filled with different value. So there I sign important po important point. Key fields in the relational database not accessible for users. They could be visible for users typically, but not accessible. They feel it support and maintained by database management system core, not by users. Please try to remember these things. Same way, if you want to ensure a relationship, such as each one object instance marked with unique and never repeated primary key value. So if you want to provide reference of this instance for all his children, descendant objects, like provide uh, which examination belong to each person or which marks from classes belong to which student. So each one of this object, like patient or students have unique key, uh, primary key value as signet. And we will repeat, if we will repeat this, primary key value for each one his mark or for each one his examination, we will have strong relationship for database core. Who, for whom this mark belong to or for whom this uh, examination belong to. So it could be look like this one practical example. We have some kind of list of patient and we have added extra field that will have unique and never repeated numbers. So, much of things not accept no duplicate value. It could be, tip in general, it could be based not on more than one field. In this particular case, we have single one field with single one value for each one record. But in complex case, it could be consist of multiply value. It's possible to have such system. But now we will consider the simplest way. Uh, and as a result, in this particular table, ID is uh, primary key value. So foreign key, uh, they are shown how we can uh, provide establish relationship between department, uh, for example, university or school department and uh, teachers. And teachers, how we can understand which teacher work at which department, a signet to which department. And uh, as you can see, each one department issued by also unique and never repeated value. So in this case, department code its work as primary key for department. Same way teacher ID have his own unique and never repeated value. Pay attention that uh, primary key could not be only uh, numerical. It could be even text if you necessary. It's just requirement. It must be never repeated value. How it will be provided? It must be depend to the database core settings. And as a result, so to provide a segment between teacher and department, we must introduce, uh, of course, in general, we must understand type of relationships. So like multiply teacher could be a signet and work at same department. As a result, we were talking about relationship one to many, about this in second, in minutes. But practically, we will need a signal for in key value and uh, put the corresponded value from department where a teacher has been assigned to. And we will have a relationship based on key fields value. So how to get our teachers from my department, we might need search within teacher table for value which is much uh, department, much department like 002. And no more. Okay, as of more closely about relationship type. So I have introduced actually at least two from all three type of relationship. I will start from more, more most, uh, very most easy to understand one to one relationship when uh, one instance of entity A, such as one instance of entity B. Like you said, only to provide extra details on horizontal level. So when we are talking about patient data, something unspecific but important data, for example, about what habits or so, could be collected within extra table, within extra object, and connected with one-to-one -one relationship. One-to-one relationship. 
uh, most common things and uh, okay uh, no here is another example products product details uh, actually you said not very often uh, just in case if you want to avoid very complex objects so if we have very large number of attributes to describe particular object like a lot of fields about patient or some uh, about clinical case and not all these attributes are have same importance we have like several most important attributes and a lot of not such Im important which is rarely used so we separate that not oft, not very often used attributes into separate object and connect uh, that object with one to one relationship to to our uh, description okay uh, so uh, in the next uh, type of relationship one to many uh, one instance of entity B, which could be zero, one, or many instances of uh, have to could have zero, one, or many instances of entity B, or uh, uh, instance of entity B, it's more than one instance of entity A. So uh, practically, it could be look like how it could be seen, like teachers could provide multiply classes. But for example, me today have three classes. So between and tomorrow I will have again three, after tomorrow three, and then four, again three, and so on. So means uh, for me will be as for my records in teacher's table, when I will talking about assignments, I will need to be multiply information about my classes assigned to me. Uh, in this case, for example, when the classes, which dates will be performed, which time start, and so on. So I'm talking about system like our system used to uh, uh, IACU uh, system, which is used in our university to uh, keep in mind time uh, schedule of education. Same way, uh, for example, each one uh, medical informatics student, students have got multiply marks within Z classes. So actually we can consider, uh, we can extend this or replace it like for each one class, if you will consider student side. So we need to replace object to teacher to students and replace like uh, an added maybe mark into this table to, uh, to uh, depict students mark on particular classes. Uh, Practically, it's most often time used relationship type in relational database. Actually, most of, uh, almost our implementation of relational database uh, based on one-to-many relationship. Sometimes call, uh, call it master detail relationship, where teacher is master side, class is detail side. And moreover, uh, typical usage, we consider multiply level of details, so we can extend this structure with sub details, sub sub details, and so on. So we have added the more children level there. And in other experiment, uh, last general class of relationship, it's many to many, uh, or it's called sometimes not specific, when multiply uh, A instances are signaled to multiply B instances. And it on both sides could be from zero to unlimited number of records. So there actually we must understand there is no uh, direct implementation of one to uh, many relationship into relational database. It must be uh, implemented to multiply one to many relationship from different side, like from left to right and from right to left. So please will consider this implementation when we enroll and assign students to classes. Like we have on the classes there, we must understand not scheduled classes, not classes on the weekly schedule, by syllabus classes. For example, syllabus on medical informatics consists of 16 classes. So there at left, at right side, you will have 16 classes with different topics. So there we could even could brought a like syllabus to classes. The right side, each one person who study medical informatics. And in the middle of 
it's like results and success. How this one particular student complete this one class. So we must ensure it. Which class it consists, when it was happened, like which day, uh, which date it, uh, he, this class was done for this students, and which mark he retrieved. So at the middle, uh, join table could consist out of this. So there we have multiply primary four in piece. As you can see there, each one field, each one uh, object, like students and classes have primary key. Their combination form create foreign key. It's not also a single one solution. Uh, at practical classes, I will provide more simpler solution with extra foreign key, but okay, we can implement this way. And join table uh, practically also must have primary key, of course, because each one record must still must be unique. So it will be clear that uh, enrollment ID, it will be primary key for this uh, for this table. And it's uh, necessary more fields like mark, date, or so, and information about rework if missed, etc. Okay, and in other, in other business example, like orders, products, and order details, which products was sold with given order. So every time, it's actually such structure which consists of three table and two one-to-many relationship. It's like a significant important brick of relation of database which represent interaction of multiply object. But real database will be consist of multiply such structures. Again, I sign one more than 150 tables for open mark, 250 for uh, Moodle itself number of object which is, should be available under real uh, relational uh, database, implementation of relational database management system. So is there just explanation for previous chat how relationship between products and uh, orders works? Actually it's provided and no need to repeat these things. Uh, after we implement given relationship, we must ensure about data integrity problems that to be ensured that our data will be kept in, in place in health and cons in consistent and reliable way. So at least need to consider two approaches, entity integrity and re referential integrity. Entity integrity uh, states that value of primary key and never be a new value and never be repeated. So every time we back to primary key, which must be added to each one object and uh, evaluated for each one instance of object. Should not be no, should not be zero, should not be, uh, must not be, sorry. It's no need to, we must clearly provide this. And not, not must be no and never be repeated. Referential integrity states that if relational table has a foreign key, that every value of foreign key must be a be uh, no or much value uh, in the relational table in which that foreign key is primary key. So every time we must have relationship from, we must have related value from uh, the detail table to correspond the parent primary key value. Okay, to achieve all this goal, to achieve proper uh, database, the relational database design, uh, during development process, a developer or administrator of the future of industry must pass through normalization process, which have goal, create set of uh, relational tables that's free from redundant data and that can be consistently correctly modified. So actually, uh, it's again specific area and the general uh, relational algebra scientific area. So it's covered normalization theory and based, based on concept of normal form. So actually, uh, typically five normal forms are available. All that form is reversible. So when we bring the data to five normal form, it should be like first one normal form. Attention, it should be like loop, tro loop together, loop, loop, tro loop cycle. Typic so in this reason, practically, 
developer uh, working with no more than three normal form. So when we put out the base and uh, to third normal form means we achieve final uh, useful level of normalization. Uh, actually, and that's why it maybe sounds complicated, but practically it's like slightly simple process when we put data in tabular form and remove repeating groups and form from that group separate table. So when we, we, when we look at table and see that something repeated there, we assume that maybe it would be fine to take out this repeated value, put them into separate table where they will be shown one time, uh, mark it with primary key and put it as foreign key back into our origin. So for example, there we can see how we can data in fast normal form, each one volume atomic, but P, uh, P code has been repeated multiply well as well. Uh, so what, do, uh, sorry, uh, S and P could be formed as key fields. Uh, we have status and cities uh, repeated multiply time. Repeated multiply time, uh, especially we corresponded with uh, cities. So it will be uh, obvious that we can uh, retrieve all repeated value status and city, put it as a separate table, and use uh, one of uh, S field value as primary key for them, and their combination S and P in a parts table to depict relationship. And of course, it will be one to, uh, one to many relationships there. So as you can see, how many times S1 will be repeated there. Of course, part ID will be, un will be primary key there. Again, I sign. Sequence of column is insignificant. So primary key, not in first position. It's not a problem, actually. It could be at any position. Uh, in this case, we have part ID, P, field, primary key, and uh, second table ID, S, -A -S uh, field value. It's on first place, but it's foreign key, foreign key. And it could be, and it could work. And even we can separate, continue with our normalization, bring second into third normal form. form. So in previous time, we have again uh, things when London and Paris multiply, uh, repeated at least two times. So it will be natural to eliminate all cities and put into separate table, and then use the even city name to assign necessary status. So even value could be used, value within one table could be used as key fields. Maybe it's not very strict approach, but it's possible to be alone. Not fine, but possible. More better if we will use uh, special extra fields. So here is now how we move from, again, I will recap back. We have data in first normal form. We have data in second normal form. And finally, we came into third normal form. Actually, our normalization passed successfully. And in another way, how we can represent uh, operation on data with relational algebra. So here is, we have two data sets, and we want to use uh, uh, intersection of these two series. So, uh, retrieve only value which is available between, within both of this object, both of this relational table. So it could be depicted with above formula. How relational algebra equation look like? How it could be seen, uh, how we can depict it in this way? To manage with databases, a special programming language has been developed covered SQL, structured query uh, language. And of course, it also has mathematical background like basic operation, intersection, conjun conjunction, union, uh, difference, uh, etc. So they depict there with given uh, relational algebra notation. And at the right side, and when the uh, related Venn diagram, these cycles show which kind of data from given set will be used, like filled by red. 
fill it by red, so which data will be used, which given operation. Like intersection union, symmetric difference, absolute uh, complement, uh, relative uh, complement, etc. And at right, at left side, some basic logical operation like and or uh, and how it will work with given data series, which result we will retrieve. So and uh, also on the end, we must understand uh, multiplication and the or summation. Like basic at left side, basic and advanced uh, SQL operation with relational algebra representation. So in practical implementation, the database has been started with application software called DBMS, database management system. Of course, for relational database, it will be RDBMS or relational database management system. Uh, and uh, this particular software should be used to, so now I move from uh, left side of the base application to DBMS application, which is responsible to uh, provide uh, elementary operation with uh, uh, data record. So here is more detailed, consider how it could look like data DBMS system, this uh, at left side, this blue, uh, blue, blue uh, square box. So uh, it could be connected to application to other DBMS sources, to even advanced users could connect directly to DBMS to perform operation. For example, uh, the database administrator, the database developer work with DBMS directly. And uh, like DBMS, it's middleware between and provide high level interface to manage data stored within storage area. So for us, no significant which kind of database has been used behind, how it's organized uh, at the data storage area, VDL uh, on database level, for example, with SQL calls. We no need anything than SQL calls. And depending to implementation, DBMS transform our high level SQL calls into elementary commands for data management. So again, I assign that it's SQL look like uh, mostly similar to normal work, we like them select list of fields from uh, list of source like table. Or, uh, okay, in a representation, how it look like, uh, how DBMS look like. So different DBMS for different database, different database type. For example, this one, we have something similar to a uh, uh, diagram something similar to entity relationship diagram, but actually now we have not abstract development. We have snapshot of real database which was implemented and just we have detection what it consists of which parts. So it's database, it's tables from real relational database. This application covered uh, MySQL workbench. Okay, and uh, how we can, how could be formed, so what is SQL and how it could look like? I told you, special programming language dedicated to create, to make query for database. So here is what, what it consists of. We have typical operators from database, like select from where and grow by order. It's like basic alphabet of SQL query. Uh, of course, actually, any operation that you done through DBMS man in user interface practically will be turned into a SQL command and execute. So if, even if you did something with this visual representation, everything that you did will be turned into sequence like this one. So even if you don't know SQL, but if you will work with, when you will work with the base using, for example, Microsoft Access, DBMS Management System, or any other. Okay, you will work with Visual Tool, but you will work with this still this way. So what do we have there? For example, under select listed object that we want to retrieve from database, from the picked class, which database object must be used, from which table we will extract this information, where provide like limitation constraints. So 
records must match given condition uh, and provide logical function to join multiply condition together only if all given condition match we will uh, we could be able to uh, include our record into results go by and order by provide uh, inform provide order, uh, provide information how it should be ordered and grow open. Uh, so, or grow by require it because we want to retrieve uh, not only list of records, but we want to perform aggregation of data. Here you have function count. So, as a result, we must grow value to get, uh, to get aggregated value. No, it's actually everything that I want to present like within this le lecture. So, uh, thank you for your attention.